Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am I'm really nervous for today's live stream, man. So we're gonna be trying out what has been dubbed the hardest piece of content currently on global. These are reverse stages. So basically the concept, if you're not familiar with them already, is you go through the story but from the perspective of the baddies. So you've got to play those characters that you fight. Um, so it requires like a lot of investment, a very big roster. There's a lot of gems, also like three part two SSR tickets. Um, but yeah, we're going to see how we, we do today, man. Ideally, I'd like to clear everything three star. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to be possible because some of my units, especially when it comes to like Golgius and that, like aren't fully maxed out. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what's possible. But let's start with uh, the Twigo and Alioni reverse stage here um and i think uh we're gonna skip the cinematics oh, i mean we kind of gotta watch the twiggo cinematic boys you know get get into it a little bit today but basically we are twiggo and alioni and we're about to beat up meliodas and elizabeth we've got to really embrace the uh the bad side today The cinematic Twiggo shots, boys. They're doing it for me, man. They're doing it for me. <laughs> we won't watch all the dialogue, or else we'll be watching the whole story today. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just skip ahead, man. Let's get let's get into the fights. We got we got a lot of fights to do, man. There are okay, and we've crashed. So um, so not not the start I wanted. I kind of wanted to start this live stream where we didn't immediately crash after the first cut scene. That was the that was the start I was after, man. Um, but it's not the start we're getting today, so, <laughs> uh, you know, bear with me, give me, give me like 10 seconds if you're watching this on demand, fast forward, uh, if you're watching this live, uh, tough luck, um, <laughs> uh, dude, I swear this happens like half the time we live stream, man, it just immediately crashes, but, hey, that's blue stacks for ya, right, next time, boys, we've got it, we've got it, we're gonna load in, ah, <laughs> uh. Hopefully everybody's doing well today, man. Having a, a great Tuesday. Hopefully you got uh, lucky on the uh, the King Banner if you decided to summon. And uh, let's go. Take two. Back to Vanya. And uh, yeah. Let's go for it. So we need to track an association as well. Uh, probably track in Meliodas there. Twigo Association. Probably go for Jericho. Let's go for it, boys. And yeah, health food can be uh, very useful if you're looking to get over the CC requirement. Uh, I would assume, but apparently these are quite difficult. I imagine this one's going to be a bit... Like, Twigo and Alioni are, you know, pretty much fully maxed out. I think Alioni's 75, but Twigo, of course, is fully maxed out. We got all the cosmetics. So yeah, we're above the CC on this one. Uh, is Meliodas in stealth there, man? So I don't think we can target Meliodas here, by the look of it. we got to kill Liz first. Oh, no, I don't want to auto. Okay, let's go for this, this, and the big Twiggo strike there. Oh, mate, these stages are <laughs> pretty beefy. And the thing is, with reverse stages as well, they kind of work like training caves, so you can't uh, bring in gear to them. Okay, that's just Blue Melly, so his counter shouldn't be too bad. Is he deleting cards as well? Let's get cards deleted. Okay, we got to rush Twiggo's ult. It'd be great if we had Alioni's ult here as well. Um, uh, do, we, do we risk the counter? i got to test out the counter, guys. This is a testing stream. Is counter really bad news? We're about to find out. Okay, it's not too bad. Yeah, Twiggo can take that, man. That's not too much of a problem. And uh, next turn, we've got his ultimate. Oh, Ali only got spanked there, man. Oh, my God. He's getting nuked. And his cards are getting destroyed. Uh, at least with the, the card deletion... Um, then he draws uh, a fair bit. I'm hoping this can kill Liz, and then that can go straight onto Meliodas. Okay, perfect. I think we got the KO this turn, then. Sweet. Last one done. We were well above the CC requirement for this one, though, man. But yeah, that was a little bit scary. This isn't even like the one I'm worried about, man. I'm worried about like the Golgius ones, man, because I didn't have many of those uh, 
<sighs> those characters around uh, the second chapter um, really like super beefed up. We got three stars on that one, so it's a, a good start. But what stage do we have next? So we've got oh, um, Gil Thunder and Griamore. This one should be fine as well. We got like um, maxed out versions of both. I don't know if we need to use a specific Griamore or, or, or Gil Thunder, or we have the option to like pick uh, one of the two. But um, are those the ones that we want? Yeah, you can pick any Griamore you want, any Gil Thunder you want. Should we go for the tank one? This, that, that one's a bit rubbish. I think we go for the red one, man. Mm, Chuck and Hauser on the association here. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go. We got plenty of CC, man. So we gotta gotta fight Deanne. Actually, maybe if she's um blue, Is she blue here. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out in a sec, man. Okay, so we got Deanne and Meliodas. Okay, so yeah, I think we were right not to pick the uh, the green one there. Maybe let's fire off that. Let's go for the torn, and I'm also gonna. Just pummel him with Griamore, or do we go for the shield? Let's go for the shield, man, just because the um the previous stage hit really, really hard. And we're not, like, fully ramped up on Gil Thunder yet. So, yeah, I don't want to get him to, like, get him, like, smashed down. Are they deleting cards on this stage on hit? Maybe that was just something with Liz, or maybe that's going to delete a card now. No, that's going to ult drain, okay. Seems to be a lot of additional stuff going on here. If you inspect the characters, does it tell you uh, what additional stuff they have? Oh, yeah. Okay, there, there is a lot going on, man. Steals. Oh, no, it doesn't delete. She actually steals an old cage. Oh, get in the bin, Deanne. That's horrible. Um, but if we have shield, then there's a chance not to do it. Because I don't think she stole on the first one. So let's use lightning. Go for the shield there. Next turn we can rush Green Moor's ult as well. But hopefully um, it doesn't break the shield. Don't know if that's too ambitious. Yeah, she broke the shield and stole the ult gauge. That's so rude, man. That's really rude. Um, okay. Let's, uh, I think, use this on Guild Thunder just so we can get his ult. And then we're just going to nuke in to Deanne. It's very interesting so far, though. I think there's going to be so much to read on every stage that we'll get too caught up on the reading. Okay, we fully patience that. That's that's a great time. Is she going to steal, like, two alt gauge with that ult? Oh, she does. Oh, my God. Screw this Deanne, man. I can't get an ult off to save my life here. Um, right, let's taunt up and then shield up. And then go for a Griamore Pummel. Hmm. So yeah, next turn we should have uh, friggin' Griamore's ult. So that's going to be sick. That combined with Gil Thunder's passive. It's going to make that lab pretty tanky. I'm uh I'm a bit worried about Melly's ult, but I think we should be okay. Let's just send like all of the damage we can here. Um, how much has Deanne got left actually? Yeah, we probably I'm I'm gonna bank on the fact that we probably kill her with both of those cards. So then I'm gonna go for the stance um, with Gil Thunder. And then hopefully we can survive Melly's ult and then retaliate with his ult next turn. Okay, nice. That attack-related stats reduction did us a solid. Oh, does he also drain? Oh, it certainly looks like it. Okay, I think we can rush uh, Griamore's ult here, though. Uh, we're going to get full counters. Does he drain on the counter, though? I don't know. We're, we're out to find out. Bit of testing. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like he drains on counter, so that's great news there. Hope he goes for Gil Thunder. Fantastic. And then let's fire off that. Go for that. And then taunt up. Whew. I, I can see why, like, I, I'm, like, a fair chunk above the CC requirement. 
But I can see why these uh, these stages, man, they're certainly not like easy ones to blast through in like a couple of turns. It's a fair bit of. Uh, I don't think <laughs> a lot of players are going to be able to auto these stages. Right, I think we just brush that and go for Torn. Hey, that's exactly what we wanted to see. Right, we can uh, finish this off now. So there we go, that's two of them done. I don't know actually if we did the mission to finish it in a certain amount of turns. I feel like we took ages there. I think there's a mission like finish it under 12 turns. I think we might have just got it. We'll have a we'll have a little bit of a look though. Depends on what this one. Oh, eight turns. Okay, right. So I need to go back and three start. We'll just focus on the initial clear today for everything. Because I think uh, yeah, I will need to uh, go back and min max uh, quite a few stages. And these are the ones that I should be um, <laughs> absolutely rolling through. Okay, so we've got a Guild Thunder here. I think I might, might want to go for the other one, man. Let's just try the other one here. Why not? And let's chuck Hauser on the sub. And a Yoni. Let's chuck... Actually... Yeah, we melee on the sub here. And Jericho over here. What's the uh, what, what's the hardest stage, man? What what we got to be, like, uh, sweating about, lads? Let me, let me know in chat. What should, I, what should I be afraid of that's yet to come? Because I'm going to try and uh, stick to the, the story order as much as possible. But the Gold Gear stuff does, doesn't look too enjoyable, man. That looks like a bit of a pain. Um, just go double cleave here? I think so. Yeah, I think maybe if I use the Green Gale Thunder, I could have nuked that stage down a bit quicker. With the attack buff. So yeah, I think that's all I needed to change probably on the previous stage. Um, we've got a nice uh, draw play next turn. Probably use the Anayoni card. I don't know if he gets to all or whether or not he gets drained. Did they just heal up a load? I feel like I made a good dent and then that dent's just uh, disappeared. <laughs> uh, who's the biggest threat here though? Is it Dian or is it this Liz? God, there's so much going on. Or well, 10% of max health at the start when taking damage. Move on debuff. Oh my god. <laughs> How many buffs do they want, mate? Uh, okay, so that Liz heals. So I think we'll focus on Deanne. Because she's just going to keep on regenerating up as we cleave. But Deanne, we, we should be able to get, get her down. Got the taunt up on Alioni, so he's going to take a... Uh, the brunt of the hits next turn. Uh, we can rush Twigo's ult. Is there any ult drain? I don't think there's any ult drain funny business going on with this one. Hmm. I think they're probably still going to go for Alioni anyway. So I think we uh, go for this. Let's get the damage reduction. Hopefully he survives. Got minus 45% damage here. We get to Twiggle Alt next turn. So, uh, maybe. Or maybe the strategy for this one is more about kind of bouncing taunts between Alioni and Gil Thunder. Hmm. Okay, so let's go for Twiggo's Alt. And then we are going to full nuke into the Meliodas here. And then. I think send uh, a Twiggo Strike just to make sure Deanne dies. Oh, yeah, that should be enough to get Melly down. I think uh, Liz Liz might die as well. Hopefully, I don't know if Alioni's got any life steal. Just a little bit, mate. A tiny bit. Alioni could still die next turn if he's targeted. He's probably going to get targeted. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Straight in the bin. Well, at least uh, I, I, I'm feeling pretty good about the clear on this stage. Oh, I don't know, actually. Am I getting too ahead of myself here? I might be. I'm just worried, like, uh, this Liz Hawk's just going to one Oh, no, Twiggo, Twiggo carries. Sick. MVP, boys. Man of the match right there. So uh, I'll certainly, uh, <laughs> certainly take that one. 
Um, but there we go. So uh, I've got a, a few more missions to come back and do at some point. Uh, but again, we're just going to go for the, the clear today. There's definitely uh, some levels to these reverse stages. But that, that wasn't too bad for the entry one. But again, you do need to have some, uh, some pretty... Uh, out there characters taken out. This is the one I'm really worried about, man. Ooh. What people saying, uh, the king is apparently hell to fight. Do Ghetto, Death Pierce, and Arden? Oh, no, that sounds horrible, man. Well, uh, we'll see when we get to that one. But anyway, we've got Golgius and Ruin here. I really don't have, like, too much CC on either. They're only four Star Awakens. So, yeah, this is, um, what is it? Not ideal, but I, you know, not many people want to fully max out Golgius or Ruin. I certainly don't have much inclination to <laughs> max out either. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, oh, we just got a Meliodas here. May maybe he's not going to be too bad. There's two of us, there's one of him. We can take him, mate. Easy. Now that I said easy, I'm going to get absolutely wrecked on this one. What's the, what's the value if I uh, merge this? Actually, if I think if I go for Ruins ult, yeah, I, th I think we go for that. Decrease the attack. Go for his ult, because his ult, I think, has a uh, stun. I think it's the same as, like, Green Meliodas' ult. So, yeah, if we rush that, we should be good. Nice. And this green melee can't really, like, do too much. I need to use one skill next turn, just so I can draw. Don't really want to be playing into the counters. Um, so, yeah, I think we just uh, then pass, pass. Okay, nice. You didn't want shot my Golgius there. So next turn we can have a pretty good follow-up. So I think we go for this. And then... Give that card on Ruin. I think this one is all about getting to Ruin's ult. Just because it stuns Blue Melee. I forgot what Golgius' ult does. Um, but I think we find out soon. Let's go for that. Oh, are we going to get clapped next turn, bro? Oh, please, no. Oh, my God. Oh, you're laughing. Ruin's going to 1v1 this man, though. Easy, mate. Easy. I think this one, if I, if I maybe go for, like, alt food, I think that would be a bit better at the start. Yeah, and we've got to use this as well. <sighs> Scary man. Oh, yeah, it's because we didn't have the uh, the attack uh, reduction on in the previous turn. we still got two turns, though, so that's, uh, that's good. <sighs> yeah. The rewards for this stuff, like, unless you're a massive whale, um, it just doesn't seem like something to, like, lunch for, <laughs> you know? I think the, all the rank-up materials, probably for a lot of players, outweigh the uh, benefits of doing it. But there we go, we got Meliodas down. I think we've probably only got, like, um, one star there, if we're lucky. Oh, no, no, no. We managed to get the, uh, the clear within eight turns as well. So, I'll take that. But, um, I think with some slightly better RNG, Golgius might not die. But, I'm not too sure about that one, man. Okay, so we've got to use, um, all of the weird fangs there. And who are we fighting? Is this, like, Elizabeth and Deanne? Glad we've got Ruin in the team, man. He was the uh, definitely the man of the match last one. We got Jude here, so let's chuck in Deanne. And um, finally, I 
think we'll go for like king just to give like the most space stats. What about this king? Knocking about. There we go. Uh, we've got plenty of CC actually. Should I? I'm gonna switch to um, apple pies for a little bit. And if we um, are what is it missing CC in certain stages, then I'll, I'll switch back to uh, health food or CC food if needed. But I think apple pies might be the best way to go. I don't know, maybe lifestyle food for certain stages might be valuable as well. Maybe fish and chips if there's some crazy burst. Uh, okay. So... What fun cards do we have here? I think we want to go for Nightmare Illusion. Um, to increase all the damage. Let's increase all the damage and start poisoning, I think. <laughs> Crack the whip a couple of times. Oh, okay, that's a good top deck, man. That's not too bad at all, eh? What's this one, dude? Is it cancel? Um, oh, disables attack skills. Okay, that one's really, really valuable for a certain character. Who's dealing the most damage or annoying? Maybe that Liz Hawk. Oh yeah, we also get. Uh, is it Jude's passive where we reflect some stuff? So we can cancel um, the attack card on Liz there. So that's pretty damn good. And I think I'm actually going to move this one and then use it on. Um. Just gonna attack into the advantage Meliodas here. Okay, very nice. Oh no, are they immune to attack disable? Yeah, by the look of it. At least we got double alt next turn, so we got is it Jude's one? Thorn hunt? So we can disable our, our actually it doesn't disable attack skills. I don't know if we can stun though. Find out man, we'll find out. Okay, so let's fire off the big ol' over here. Actually, do we want to increase damage taken? Yeah, we should probably increase damage taken to maximize uh, the alt stuff here. And let's fire off the uh, stance cancel and stun over there. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that looked pretty cool in all fairness, man. There we go. Meliodas is out of action. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this one now. There we go. Okay, so let's go for a single cleave over here. And then I think we're going to merge and go for this. Should be enough. And next turn, I want to rush. Um, do I want to rush his ult, actually? Maybe I should have looked at rushing a different ult. Okay, so we're going to get clopped by the ult here. But yeah, I think we actually gave, uh, I think it's Jude's ult here. Sorry if I'm getting names mixed up. Oh no! We got wrecked there, man. It's all good. We should be able to get an okay comeback here. Let's go for it. So increased damage taken. Fantastic, mate. Give her the old thorny shaft. Sorted. So, uh, you know, we ha we haven't taken a massive L so far. We're doing all right. We're just about getting through it. We get the, uh, the three stars on that one. Because our boy Rune died. Rip, boys, rip. So, yeah, it looks so far like so far for these stages. Uh, level 70, um, what is it, four star is working out all right for me. We got Jericho here, bro. I get to bring Jericho. Pretty, that's pretty pog. That is a massive pog there. Um, let's go for Escanor. Chuck in Deanne as well. Oh no, I still don't have enough CC. Okay. Um, back to health food it is. I was thinking like Jericho, man. Easy game, easy life. But I don't know now. That's a, a lot of CC, man. Let's see what happens. 
Yeah, it seems like you do need like a, at least a, a midway investment into these characters. But again, I think for most people, man, like I'm looking at this on my free-to-play account, like the amount of investment you need on certain characters just to use them for a couple of stages, <laughs> kind of, uh, yeah, just doesn't really seem all that worth it. Do you want to use the spike damage? Just try and get Melly down here, I think. Let's go for it. Jericho should be hitting like a truck, though, man. Oh, dude, if that crit, that would have been like a straight-up one-shot on that guy. <laughs> what? Dude, how much did Melly heal back there? You're laughing, mate. What? What friggin' unique ability does he have? My goodness. Man literally regenerated like 50% of the damage. Is that, is that what he's got? Like at the end of the turn, regenerates like 50% missing. Oh, heals 50% uh, of diminished health every time a debuff is removed from the hero and clears all debuffs at the end of the turn. So that is um, nightmare inducing. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's crack on, shall we? Uh, Barn's going to do double stance here. Uh, let's just go for, let's go for a cleave, man. Let's go for a nice little cleave. Next turn, we can Jericho ult that Meliodas, and hopefully that man's going to get Tyrannosaurus wrecked. I need to see the rest of them have that ability to, like, remove debuffs and heal a load. If they do, then it's, it's not a great time. Okay, we got the Anz ult. And then let's have... Bit of a look. Heals 20% of diminished health at the start of each turn. And what does Barn have? Okay, so I think we still ult there. Because even if it doesn't crit, it should be good. And then we want to build up to another Jericho ult. So I think I'm going to use this one on Dian And the smaller one on Barn. I'm a bit nervous about that Dian ult, though. I feel like that could go... Um, very, very wrong. Come on, Jericho. Hang in there. I don't think there's much follow-up that we need to be concerned about. Okay, that's fine. Nothing too bad. Next turn, we've got... Uh, we can use some Golgius cards if we want. Or we can rush another Jericho. Actually, can we rush a Jericho all? No, she got drained, actually, so we can't. That play's been taken off the table. Um, right. Is even one of them planning on using a lot of attack cards next turn? Can we attack to save all this Dian? We've got it, so I feel like it might not be... Yeah, I, I, I think we can attack the Sable her. Uh, so let's fire that off. And then, should we just go double Golgius cards? We get Golgius as ult, so... It's kind of a good benefit, man. I think the cleave damage might be a bit more than Jericho. I'm not too sure. <laughs> to be honest, I, I probably should have just gone for, uh, gone for the Jericho slash there. But at least we get the ult follow up next turn. But Jericho is in the bin. She's gone, boy. She's wrecked. But I think now we can clap this Deanne. And then... Let's just nuke him with two of these. Um, hopefully the ult's going to be enough to get her down. But yeah, if not, this just secures. Nice. And then we just got to get Barn down. We've got the ult to do that, I think, next turn. So we should be good. Get a cheeky little uh, damage increase here. Perfect. So yeah, we're going to fire off. Oh, no, we lost the ult. Oh, yeah, we got drained, didn't we? God damn it, Barn. Uh, have we got a way to rush two alts? No, so let's just go for damage increase. And then uh, Golgius' is spike. Oh no, that's a level three! It's a bad time, man, that's a bad time. Be worried about this barn, he's, he's top le decking like a madman. I'm going to try and rush uh, two. Two alts. Go for this and go for this. Hmm. 
Hmm. He might actually uh, three-star drain there. Actually, I think we top deck into... Um, Frazeria's... I don't even know how to say a name, man. <laughs> I feel so bad for it. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Okay, so let's go for... The all and then poison. It's gotta be it. Oh, the corrosion. Maybe, maybe you want her on the front lines, and maybe you want to rush her all. Actually, corrosion doesn't seem too bad here. I think she'd be more useful on the front lines than Golgius because he's not really doing too much. I kind of, I don't know why I thought um, that you might have like all four at once. But yeah, I'm hoping these two cards finish off the job. But yeah, I think that was probably the mistake we made, man. Like, her, her ult's uh, not too bad, actually, with the corrosion damage. She should take a load of damage and just die at the end of this turn, I think. Oh, no, maybe it's remaining health. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I, I think I'll take everything back. <laughs> uh, well, we got that one done. That took uh, a fair few turns, so I think we've probably only got the one star on that one, I would assume. Uh, but, you know, that was a little bit tricky. I think if we change some stuff around, we can get three stars on that. I think it's definitely possible. Um, but there we go. We've done down Mali, so that brings us on to... Um, is it Tala now? Or, yes, yeah, it's, it's Tala. It's, it's weird, because these aren't in uh, any particular order. So let's go to Tala. And this is the the king one, right? So we've got to fight a uh, bard with a lane here. Okay, let's go for it. <laughs> Just <laughs> slide my chair in a bit more, man. Got to get our focus hat on, ready for ready for when we get to the Hendrickson part, man. Uh, yeah, let's just check like any king, man. Doesn't matter too much. And health food. Let's actually go back to uh, apple pies. As long as we have the CC. I think uh, for some of this stuff, man, I got my uh, friggin' red gila maxed out. So yeah, I think we're going to have a, a bit of a field day in this one, man. This should be a good time. See him fighting bomb. We're on reverse stages, my boy. Tired of the stream, my dude. Okay. Um... So we can rank down that. Do we want to rank down and drain? I think... Oh, we just we just got to use all the cards anyway. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. I, that's that's pretty pog, man. Like, getting... Uh, what is it? Three turns when you got one character? Take that, man. This, this, this looks like a great stage. I'm really enjoying this one so far. I think next time we just win. Elaine is... Uh, she's 6 star, 6-6. Six, six. Uh, but she's not level 80, so that's the only thing she's missing. I don't know, level 75 for Final Boss King. Um, but yeah, I think there's a good chance, because this cancels buffs and stances, so we cancel the extort. It's probably going to get him down. If not, this hopefully should. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be close, man, really close. I think she can just about do it, though. Oh, no, he cheats death. Okay, he comes back. Well, um, there's that. <laughs> and whips in the face, mate. Well, uh, you know, now, now we know. Um, press all the cards again. I don't think he goes down this turn, as long as he doesn't cheat death again. If he does, I think he's probably just got an ability where he comes back once, but if he does have anything else, if he comes back again, <laughs> I'll read what he does. Um, but yeah, I still feel like, uh, what is it, life, if you're struggling on this one, man, lifesteal food, probably, uh, probably be the winning factor. But I, I think this is, pro that's probably like the easiest one I've done so far, though. Because the damage just isn't really that crazy. And you can constantly get rid of his ult as well. So, yeah, that lane one uh, certainly ain't too bad. Lane's, you know, she's alright for Training Cave, man. Very good for the uh, the old uh, Hendrickson boss in there. So, three stars on that one. I'll certainly take that. Then we got uh, Gila and Marmus here. Okay. Let's go for it, mate. Let's go for it. 
if you get a little red gila marmus combo here and we got Hauser and for Marmus, I think we'll just chuck Escanor on. Oh, has got those massive base stats. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Red Escanor coming in about a month. Ah, yeah, I think he's definitely coming in the next month in a bit. But I'm I'm interested. It feels like Global is is moving crazy fast though. Making some really mad moves. Okay, I think the play I'm going to go for here is I'm actually going to move this and just rush Gila's ult. And the next turn, we'll uh, defense down on Marmus and just go for it. If we crit, man, Gila's ult deals massive damage. So, we'll be, uh, we'll be having a bit of fun. I think we just used the... Oh, no! Drains! Okay, that's uh, inconvenient. Oh, I forgot about all this clown fiesta stuff that happens. How many marmus rounds do we want to draw, bro? That's that's a bit crazy. Okay, let's just go for the the golden one. Oh, dude, shake those maracas, my boy. There we go. That's a solid defense decrease. Oh, am I playing too much into this full counter? Maybe. Mm. No, why can't you go for the Marmus Meliodas? Hmm. I gotta hope this is enough to get Meli down. Oh, yes, go on, Gila. Shot bombs for the win. Sick. Okay, as long as we don't get drained, is Dian gonna drain us? No, Dian's not gonna drain us. That's brilliant. So let's go for um, let's get the ignite on. Let's fire off this and let's just go for the the big old uh, single target nuke after. There we go. Very nice. Oh mate, I thought Gila was gonna take it home there. Gila might be dead this turn. Oh no no, she's still she's still hanging in there. Oh, okay. She's she's fine, mate. She's fine. Let's go. Red Gila for the win. That was definitely an unoptimal play all there, but it, she's gonna go down anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Wish they got rid of the stuff like debuffing me and an alt steam steal and drain. Yeah, it's certainly annoying on some of these stages for sure. Uh, it's it's a bit of a weird piece of content reverse stages. I think there's a uh, there's like a this is season one or part one of them, and apparently the second uh, season or parts are a bit easier in comparison. But it, do, it does feel a bit weird though, because reverse stages there's so much investment. You need to build up like you know pretty much every character in the game that you haven't already built up. Um, that's like you know a crazy good character. Build up a lot of memes. For what essentially amounts to, it looks like, unless I'm missing some rewards from reverse stages, it's kind of like, um, I kind of like barely like 50, 70 dollars worth of stuff. So yeah, it just doesn't seem like that crazy in terms of the rewards, but it's fun content, man. I'm having a good time, but also I'm having a good time because, um, I'm a massive whale and I've got most of these characters like pimped out already. But I know if like I was doing this on my free to play account, bro, I wouldn't be having a good time. I'd be like, oh god, screw this. Maybe a couple of fights. Like, I've got a, a few fights noted down that I can. Um, well, the, the only fight <laughs> at the moment that I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I can quickly trash that one on the free to play, is that that barn because I got a lane up a little bit for the training cave. Aside from that, nothing else is getting trashed too quickly. You can maybe do some of the uh, the Twigo fights. Uh, what are we on now? The Gustav and uh, Gila one. I, I didn't actually mean to watch the entire cutscene there. <laughs> I think I, ju I just distracted myself. But anyway, let's uh, let's jump in. Let's jump into this one. Gustav and Gila. Oh, this should be a great phase, man. Should be a really, really good one. Gustav's freeze is OP as long as there's not too many targets. Okay, we got King and Barn here. Okay, so we got we got three turns, right? So I think we uh, we probably want to make the most of this freeze here. 
No, <laughs> no, now these stages are, have been so far. King's gonna be like freeze immune or something. Nah, it's fine. We're good. Oh, no, he does break out. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Um, oh, that's so trolly, bro. Giving you giving you a, a phase of like good stuff and being like, nah. Just kidding, bro. Just kidding. Wars for the banter, boys. Oh, well, um, what is, can Barn be frozen just for future reference? He's immune to free. They're both immune to, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, you're actually, you're actually having a laugh, mate. You are actually having a laugh. Well, this, uh... It's Troll Central here, man. Just massive Troll Central. At least we get double ult next turn. So as long as we survive and don't get drained. I don't think we get drained. I don't know. Reverse stages have taught me anything, man. It's just that, like... Anything will pop up. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go for... Um, let's put Ignite on Barn, I think, here. Oh, God, why is Barn using all the moves this turn? So he's going to take a bit more damage. He might be able to clap Gila next turn. I think I just need to cleave these ones down a bit more evenly, because if I put more damage on the barn, then yeah, he'd probably be dead. But I, I think we should be good. Oof. It's going to draw like 20 freeze cards now. <laughs> Hopefully we can top deck a freeze just to merge those two cards into one or just kill him. That also works. Gustav for the win. Nice, nice. <laughs> I can't believe they give you Gustav on a stage where like you can't freeze like evil one though. That's that's massive trolling, man. Ugh. Okay. Oh, we we done? Oh, we're done with this one. Sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's Tala done. We got eight out of nine first tries. So not too bad. Um, is it Vi Visor's next, right? And then it's Order, and then it's West District, then Leonis Castle. I think. So we got uh five fights in Visor. We got a fight um with Hauser, Griamore, Kane, and Taizu. Interesting. So we've got most of these characters pretty damn stacked up. Uh, let's chuck in Griamore there. Let's chuck in this one. And then for Houses Association, let's have... Um, let's go for Gila just for a bit more attack. And let's chuck in... This doesn't matter too much. Let's go for that one. Actually, this, this one's a bit better. Kane, Mediotis, and Taizu... Chuck an Eskinor there. Right, let's give this one a bit of a go. So a, a fair amount of stamina consumption as well, man. 20 stamina. But I don't, I'm feeling optimistic, man. We've had a good time so far. Let's see how far we can get today. Oh, I don't often get to play Kane, man. He's he's quite fun though. He's got a lot of ignites. Are we just gonna spirit bomb this man, second turn? I think so. Right, if we get this king down, it should be pretty good. This feels like a Kabuki PvP video. <laughs> um... I'm not even gonna try and attempt the spirit bomb, but yeah, we got weak point damage actually. If we got debuff, oh no, I should have done uh, one on each. Actually, I think next turn, sorry, this turn, let's go for this play just so that. Um, actually, wait, I don't need to do both of those. So let's merge this, let's use this, and go for a bit of a pummeling over here, I think. Yeah, I, I like this play, man. Just because with that, like, weak point ultima, I want to get a debuff on Barn or I'm just going to waste it. And with Griamores, I can combo it in. 
So we can use Panic Room, get the attack related stats reduction. And then just murder them both for Kane's ult. At least that's the uh, the dream right here. So let's go for that. Fire that off. And then how's a cleave as well? Should be a nice time. Let's see some massive damage. Oi, oi. There we go. Oh, perfect, mate. That worked out so well. Deprived King of that ult. Drops of chest as well. Didn't see anything. Has there been any interesting drops? I don't think so. Hmm. Actually, let's go for this and this and houses. I think that's our max damage play. Oh, just about, mate. That was a good stage, man. That was a really good stage. That was definitely very fun. Most people, I imagine, have Hauser and Greer more up. So I, I can actually... I, I'm pretty sure I can do that one on the free-to-play account. Um, Might need to... Uh, I think I've already got Kane up, actually, for death matches Because you want to have... Uh, well, you don't need to have Kane up, like, big time. But he's good on that uh, fourth slot on death matches for sure. Okay, we playing Jericho and Gila here? Versus King? Let's go for it. This this should be a, a good stage, man. A really, really good stage. Um, who are we going to chuck in? Just Green Barn here, get a bit of lifesteal. Why not? Let's go for it. So, have we just got to take down King's single target? If I get lucky with mergers here, we might be able to rush Jericho's ult first turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Depends what this king has, though. Some people are saying that one of the kings is a nightmare. I'm not too sure if it's this one. Okay, so what does he have? Heals 15% of max health at the start of the turn if he takes damage. Also, heals 50% of his health every time a debuff is removed. <laughs> uh, increases damage dealt by 10% for each consecutive skill used in one turn. Removes one debuff at the start of every turn. Oh my goodness. Okay, this this man's got a fair bit going on. I think like Jericho ult one shot is really the, uh, the way to go here. So yeah, I wanna, I'm want i going to save the Ignites just so I can combo that with uh, Jericho's ult. But at least from what I've read, he's pretty much going to heal up to full like, every turn. <laughs> Unless you one shot with Jericho's ult, I think. Does he get ult next turn? He's going to fossilize us. Oh, that's annoying if he does. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Just hammer him with all the Jericho cards. Does Gila live? Oh! And then he just heals up. <laughs> Okay, Gila, please live. Okay, Gila's alive. That's great news. That's great news. As long as he doesn't petrify Jericho. Sweet. Okay, I'm liking the look of the next turn. We go for this. Go for this. Should be enough. I think even if we don't crit, it's enough. I, I may be able to do that one on my free-to-play account, actually. Yeah, because I got oh, Jericho at 75. Uh, Blue Gila, I think would probably work in the place of... Um, uh, what is it? Red Gila there? So yeah, I, I think that one may be possible. It, it doesn't seem too bad, but it depends on like the Petrify RNG that you get. Um, but yeah, that one was a uh, cool little stage. Then we got Hauser and Marmus here versus DM. Okay, I think this one's going to be a bit weird. If it's single target, like, neither of the characters are really single target. I don't really have, like, Fight Festival Hauser, like the green or blue one properly set up. So, yeah, we just we just go with the, the classic boy here. Um, and let's chuck in Escanor. Let's see what we can do, man. Yeah, Global is moving crazy fast, bro. 200 miles per hour. Let's 
stop debuffing him. Well, you know, if we were debuffing him, bro, so that we could um, build up the crit chance on Jericho and get that sweet one shot. It, you know, it works out perfectly there, my dude. Ugh, it's all part of the plan, my friend, as I, I think I explained on the last fight. Right, we've got Red Deanne here. Oh my god. Dude, that's a cool animation there. She's going ham, mate. She's literally going for it. Oh my god, she's got ult next turn. Did she have like two gold cards that first turn? Those animations, they seem very extra. I'm worried. I'm, I'm really, really nervous. I think I'm going to die next turn. Um, right. Can we disable attacks, actually, on Marmus? Does Marmus disable attacks? Oh, no. Disables buff and debuff skills. So that does uh, nothing. What if we get clapped by the salt? We're in the bin. Oh, my God. Really? Are you laughing? That's mental. What? Deanne <laughs> got murdered. Um, Could have gone a little bit better there. Did she just get really lucky with the cards? I think I think she just had like gold cards straight off the bat. <sighs> okay. Um. Right, let's go for, go for this play, man. I just really need to get Hauser ult to win. So as long as we can, yeah. Be fine. Next turn, I'll, we we just use like triple Hauser cards. And as long as we didn't cl get clapped by a roll. Okay, so we didn't take as much damage that first turn. I'm still really worried about the ult though, man. That was uh, terrifying. <laughs> oh, okay, now we pray. We pray, Dianzo. Please don't take us to the Shadow Realm. Oh no, no. Oh my, what? How are you supposed to deal with this fight? Do I need to bring in like... Mama ain't gonna be able to 1v1 this lass. Mm. What? <laughs> what? Uh, okay, um... Let's have a look at uh, maybe. So I need a house. I, I can only use Hauser and Marmus here. Those are literally my two options. If I try like a slightly different food, um, let's try evasion food here for the first one. I don't think life steal because we were pretty much full there. So I don't think life steal food is going to be like enough. Uh, maybe if I can, maybe I need like Hauser's um, alt first turn. So swap these two around. Oh no, I've got to have Hauser on this side. So yeah, I can't even um, can't even chop and change there. Right, let's go for Eskinor for max uh, association stats, and let's go for Deanne here. Try the old fish and chips. Was I, I missing associations before? Oh, apparently, all rush food is the way to go. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Come on! Oh, can I can I rush out? I think I can rush out. Yeah, because if we de de rank her next turn, she can't smack us in the face of alt. So yeah, I think this one's just all about getting to house's alt before she ult you. Hey! It's the per you just need perfect top deck RNG. Oh, she actually doesn't have ult this turn. Uh, I think we still go for this, and then... Hmm. How much health does she have left? 40k. I, I think that should be fine for the KO. Let's go for that. Marmus is... Additional doesn't help us out too much. Yeah, there we go, mate. If it had been like that the first time, that would have been class. That would have been a great time. 
Yeah, you've got to get to House Zolt and then, uh... What's it? Friggin' Alt Hearts. That one's uh, a bit RNG dependent. But, you know, get down eventually. Wasn't too... Like, on a, a, on a perfect try like that, that was that was great. <laughs> that was really, really good. Okay, we got Gila, Griamore, and Jericho. This should be a, a fun stage, man. We got all these maxed out, so... Shouldn't be, hopefully, too much of a problem. God Marmus. He was just standing there with his his moral support. Uh, boosting up Hauser there. So, what, what a lad. What a fella. Yeah, let's chuck Hauser there. Let's chuck a little bit of Barn here for the life steal. Let's go for... Chuck a little bit of Guild Thunder over here. And... Um, Let's go back to the uh, the apple pies here. Come on, man. Day one, all reverse stages cleared. We are, you know, we're trailblazing so far. We've done three towns. About to do the the fourth one. Then we've got, uh, yeah, a bit of Auden. And then uh, we're into Leonis Castle. So I, I don't have, like, um, what is it? I've got, I hope I can use Blue Hendrickson on the Hendrickson stages, because I've got him maxed out, which makes him out for a PvP video. So let's have a, a quick look at this bomb. What does he do? Uh, heals 20% of diminished health at the start of every turn. Decreases uh, damage taken from disadvantage. The hero is revived once. Okay. Interesting. So actually, I think we're going to go for this play here. Let's get the Ignite and then start smashing in the Jericho damage. This barn doesn't look like on paper he's going to be too tricky. It's nothing super crazy, unless I'm missing something. I got most, uh, yeah, I got all these characters at a decent level on the free-to-play, so... Let's see if this is a free-to-play friendly fight or not. Um, oh, actually, you rushed that out really fast there. That's a, a bit of trouble, mate. Bit of trouble. Think here. I feel like Jericho is just going to get clapped, and there's not too much I can do about it. So yeah, I, I definitely. Oh no, we cancelled his extort there. That's good. That's really good news. Oh no, he's going for Gila. Okay. Now he's going to ult Jericho. Jericho's still alive though, so that's great news. Just about alive, man. Takes massive damage from the bleed. And then... Oh, drain like pretty much all our ult gauge, though. I think I'm going to move that there and then fire that off so we can rush Gila's ult. And then next turn, if we can pummel into this man with Griamore, he's going to revive once and then fire off... Um... Oh, yeah, he got quite a strong heal there, actually, in all fairness. Jericho hung in there for ages, though, man. It's going for a while. If we use two Grimoire cards, we got a Gila card. Hoping it's enough. He's got no extort, right? I don't, actually don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, yeah, I can't because my turns have been cut down, haven't they? Right, let's go for that, I think, and then... I think it makes sense to shield here, actually. But yeah, hopefully this gets um, him down and triggers the cheat death. Okay. So we got that. We got the shield up. Somebody's going to take an ult, but he's got disadvantage attacking into both Gila and Griamore. Um, next turn. I think if we're really lucky next turn, he might go down. So let's go, let's go for this play. So let's get the Ignite off. Oh, he's got double golden attack next turn. That might be a bit of a problem. Oh, no. Why did I think I had three turns there? That was, that was a bit newbie. That was really newbie. We should be okay, though. Okay, so that's the bronze. And then he's got... Oh, that's Gita ruined. No, she should still just be alive, I think. Yeah, it's definitely a misplay next turn. I don't know why <laughs> I'm still on autopilot with like three turns there. But if we go for a Grimoire's ult and then fire off a gold, uh, it might go down. Yeah, gold should do the job here. 
That one's a bit tricky, man. That one's a bit tricky. But I, I still think we could probably just about do this one on the free-to-play. I'm not too sure. Might need to do a few uh, upgrades. But I got, like, um, uh, Grimoire and Jericho upgraded a fair bit. And also the Blue Gila. So I think I think it's within the realm of possibility. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. This one. What do we have? Helbrum? Is that, like, as in I can use my red Helbrum? Oh, that's sick. That's really good. Marmus, let's check an Escanor. Right, we're ready to go. So who we um who we find here? This this isn't is it Demon Melly? You already find Demon Melly in the story there, right? Okay. So it's uh Demon Melly, Deanne, and Liz Hawk. And all our alt gauge, we can't use any uh any alt stuff. That's a bit of a pain. Um, I think in that case, we're going to save the Hellbrum cards when we need them. Let's just go... Actually, let me just double check they can be debuffed. You need to petrify. Okay. So Deanne locks our alt gauge. I think if we get her down, we can start getting alt, though. So I don't think you can petrify anybody so far. Oh no, you can petrify um, Liz by the look of it. And she also heals loads. Oh, also heals allies as well. Uh, okay, I'm just going to go for the Deanne, I think. I'm just going to use all the Jericho cards just to increase the chance of critting on the last one. So we can crit... Oh man, dude, we're seeing lots of crits already. There we go. Some nice chunk of initial burst there. This Meliodas man has some sick animations. I remember fighting him on the story on my free to play. It's got one where he like grows wings and then comes over and smacks you. I don't think like any of the playable Melis have those animations though. Um, okay, so let's finish off there. Is that is that going to be enough if it crits? Should be enough. I'm going to throw this for a bit of safety and then we'll start nuking down the Liz. Actually, let's go for the, the Meliodas, I think. Oh, dude, I'm glad I went for that secondary one there. Is this one... I think he's got the, the same unique. Something just popped up as um, Red Team Meliodas, maybe? See, he's gonna have a lot of crits. Yeah, that's the that's the card I was talking about a second ago, man. It's really really cool. Okay, so we can't petrify him, but I think we can burst him down, right? Let me just double check here. Yeah, there's nothing that's given him like a crazy heal. Apart from like Liz, Liz is gonna be healing him up a bit. Oh, have we still got a debuff on him next turn? I think we do. We put an Ignite on him last turn, right? Get a crazy amount of Jericho burst, if, if true. We need to actually start uh, ramping up to alts now as well. So we'll see what my opponent's planning next turn. So I definitely can't petrify this guy. I can drain him though, right? I think if we go for this, this, and drain... <gasps> That's a clean one shot. Okay, go on. Jericho is popping off, mate. It's getting wild. And the thing is, we can petrify, control that Liz now, get to some ultimates, and finish this one off. This is a fun stage, man. I really like this one. Um. All right, let's have a bit of a look. We can definitely petrify, all right? Be poison shock corrosion. So let's go for... What can we do? Can we Petrify Barn as well? I think so. Let's go for one Petrify there. Um, and then let's go for... A... Actually, makes sense with everything in play. We go for that. And also the, the advantages as well. So we're going to nuke into Liz. 
Oh, does she remove debuffs and heal? I think she just... I think she just heals. Sweet! Double ult win game! I think we're good. Yeah, I, I like that stage, man. That's probably one of my favourites so far. And there's like a good level of uh, strategy there. Uh, it just, just, just felt fun, man. Just felt really, really fun. Okay, well, the stuff that's dropping, it's like affection gifts, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, some weird stuff, man. Right, are we are we done here? Oh, yeah, we are. Visor, sick. How many did we get? 14 out. Dude, we got a lot of stars that first run through. I think we've only got like two in Auden. Uh, then we got three in West District. Then we got six in the castle. Or oh, we got King here. Okay. We can use Slater though, right? Oh, no in these stages, man. He's going to be like immune to all of Slater's friggin' debuffs. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, can I can I see the details of King from here, right? Okay, recovers 30% when a surviving move. Decreases damage taken. Oh, so he's got stealth. So you're actually not going to be able to target King and shut him down with Slater. So I think in that case, maybe we want to just use the uh, blue one. Let's go for bit Hendrickson here. Chuck in Barn here. Uh, Wine Heart. Let's go for Eskinor to maximize damage. Yeah, I think so. And we got Hugo finally. It's got to be Gotha. Um, right, let's give this one a go. So we've only got two in Autumn, right? But I don't know how this king's going to be. Have, have we fought the worst ones so far? I know I asked about it a little bit earlier, but what, what's coming up that's a pain? Have we we arrived at the pain right here? Oh, dude, Slate, Slate is going to have a field day first turn. Um, just Do I just want to go in for that melee? I really like this play, man, just because I get loads of damage. Probably, oh, God, that melee's going down first turn. What a champion. And then we get his ult next turn, unless we get drained. Might be some drain ability he's knocking about. Yeah, it's not worked out nice. <laughs> it's really good. The Stealth King reminds me of, like, Tower of Challenge on JP. I need to go back into that before the reset, man. I still haven't got past that King in Tower of Challenge yet. Dude, imagine if Tower of Challenge dropped on Global. I wouldn't want it to drop for ages because it comes with Super Awakenings, but it's a fun piece of content. Um, actually, I'm just going to do a slightly different play here. We're going to move this around, go for the ult, and then... Oh, no, that still doesn't get me anywhere. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's go for this. Fire off that. And just go for a slash. I just wanted to um, go for a play there that maximizes draw. Uh, I didn't think we're going to get this barn down. We're close, man. Really, really close. Uh, a bit concerned about that king. Um... Yeah, especially if that king has friggin' ult. I'm in big trouble. Okay, that king's not using anything this turn. I think that's a massive blessing. Okay. Let's go for this. Actually, how much does he have left? Hmm. Yeah, I think I think it makes sense to use two cleave cards and then we'll uh, nuke him with Slater. I'm a bit worried that this king's gonna like just friggin' alt me. I think we got next turn actually to line up a play. Yeah, he doesn't. Oh, that dude. I, I think we had some really good luck there. <laughs> some really really good luck there. So now we can line up like a, a double uh, ult here with Slater and Wineheart. I think Wineheart probably dies. Oh no, do, can we actually, does Attack Disable actually land? That also works. That also does work. Sweet. Do we get all the stars there, man? I think so. Well, that, that was awesome. I like that stage. Uh, we did get a little bit lucky there, though, man. A little bit lucky. If King had cards, used ult, sad time. Game over.
would have been massively shafted. RNG is with us on that one. I can definitely foresee that stage being a massive pain for a lot of people, though. Right, let's go for this. Uh, this Gotha stage. So is it is it the same team here? I would imagine. I think we take Simon out and actually put Hugo in. Oh no, we got Jillian here. Oh no, we. Oh, gosh, we can't even use Slater here. Okay, let's get. Can we not even move? characters to the front. Oh no, we've got to use them in that particular order. Yeah, there's no dragging around here, is there? Well, that's uh, inconvenient. Let's go for Escanor here. Hugo, this is <laughs> such a mean team. Um, and Deanne. Let's go for that all rush food. See how we get on here. Yeah, reverse stages. Like I can, I can do all the level three uh, training cave fights um, on my free to play account. We did like a super budget run. There's a lot of this stuff that I'm just like, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with <laughs> on the free to play. But there are a few fights and a few uh, easy gems to pick up by the look of it. Hmm, what cards do I have on Hugo? Hugo's all actually hits really hard. So who's like the biggest pain here? Let me actually just quickly inspect them. So King, heals. If the hero takes damage, okay. So if you hit King, he starts filling his ult gauge out. Gotha, what does Gotha do? Heals 20% health. Randomly removes one skill when attacking, great. It's gonna be deleting cards left and right. Increases all enemies' defense-related stats and PvP. I don't think that's going to help him too much here. What does he do? Oh, steals! Okay. I think he's probably going to go for either Weinhardt or Simon, though. Might go for Hugo. But let's start nuking down Barn. Barn seems like a pain. And then I think... I'm going to try and ult the king next turn. Is it is it weak point ult that Hugo has? I think it's a weak point ult. So yeah, I think if we merge, um, the Weinhardt cards, we can apply a debuff. Just delete my ult! You're laughing, bro! No! You don't get to do that! That's, what? Literally deleted my entire ult. What an absolute person. Absolutely terrible person. I don't want to hit King because then he ults next turn. Actually, wait, are we hitting? This is tricky, man. This is really tricky. I don't have too many plays here. He's going to go for Weinhardt's ult and hope it does. Actually, no, he's just going to get friggin' ranked down. Hmm. Let's go, let's go for this. If it disable, attack disables everybody, it's worth taking King to full. Okay, nice. That That is a card of high value there. Can we get King down now? Can't believe that man deleted my ult! <laughs> uh, uh. He not only deleted my ult, but deleting my ult removed all my ult gauge. So that was that was cheap tricks, man. That was a sick play, though. Attack disable, straight into popping off that king. Weinhardt, he still lives. He lives on. Okay, we got another attack disable as well. So that is a oh no, please survive. What? Oh yes, Weinhardt, getting there, my son. That's perfect. Um, screw this Gotha. Who's, who's probably like the next priority? What does this Maniotis have, man? Bit. He has 50% if he doesn't take. If he, he does take damage. Oh. As long as he's nuked down, he's not too bad. It's Maniotis. He's going to synergize mainly with Barn, right? What go through is this? This is just. Um, still got to say. 
Like, Gotha gets off a disable attack skills. We're in trouble. I think he's just got rank downs at the moment, so we should be okay. This barn. Yeah, I, th I think we go for the barn next. Um, so, I think let's fire off this and go for this just to get a bit more ult on Hugo and disable the attack skills. And he shouldn't have any full up play next turn. Maybe I should have looked at rushing Weinhardt's ult there. I think. Did I have the option to do that? I've got Gotha's ult coming out, which is a bit of a pain. So, remove stances. So, that gets rid of Meliodas' counter. And then. I'm just going to fire off this. And then go for this. Okay, Weinhardt's dead here. I lose um, Simon's ultimate. I'm still really sorry he deleted my Hugo ult first turn. <laughs> that was not an epic gamer moment. Do we just go for all the Hugo cards here? Got Rupture. He is buffed up, so that should deal with a crazy amount of damage. And then, if Ghost doesn't target Hugo, we get his ult. Mm. Is he going to delete my cards? Oh, he deleted a Jillian card. So it's not who he attacks, he just like randomly deletes one of your cards. Okay, so I think we go for... Uh... Actually, I don't really want to get countered, so let's fire off the Simon card. Let's just go for... Is that Jillian's single target? There we go. And then we'll go for Hugo's ult. Oh, maybe that's going to kill, actually. Actually, this should work out really nicely. Pardon me. Perfect. Well, that phase, uh, uh, stage, sorry, was uh, a little bit stressful. We got through it in the end, though. <laughs> Hugo MVP. Like, Weinhardt's attack disable is really the key to, um, uh, what is it? Not getting smacked up in certain turns. Because, yeah, if you attack disable, it just gets rid of uh, all of the stuff. We got, you know, five out of six stars on that one. I'll take that. That's pretty damn nice. Um, and let's go to, uh, what is it, chapter six now? We got Leonis Castle, Gil Thunder House of Greenmore. Is this like after? Is this more like Fight Festival stuff? I think it is, man. This is, this is stuff like after, I think, the main story. So yeah, let's go to Leonis Castle. I think that's uh, probably a bit more in line with the story. We've got Gil Thunder, Hauser, and Dreyfus. Okay. How, how's my Dreyfus doing, man? I don't think he's taken out him up that much. We'll find out soon. We're doing alright, though. We've only got, uh, what is it, seven more stages till we've done a full clear. And I don't think there's any stage where I've been like, this is impossible to get uh, three stars on. But for today, we're just doing the initial clear stuff. Um, does Deanne have? So we're just fighting a single Deanne. She's green. So yeah, let's let's give it a go. We got well above the CC with Gil Thunder and Hauser carrying. So we should be all right, lads. Do you need every unit at level 80? It looks like um, most of the stuff is possible with like level 74 star. But, you know, it's kind of one of those things of... Um, so it's still a lot of resources, man. The level 74 star, a lot of characters. I think there's uh, there's di different stuff. This is probably like the the lowest priority of stuff to focus on <laughs> out of all the content in the game at the moment. So yeah, it's like literally bottom of the list when you've done like everything else and you have nothing left to do. And you can start taking up all sorts of characters for this.
There are also like a lot of characters that uh, people already have up a fair bit. This Deanne's got really lucky, man. I think she's just going to clap me here. I don't think there's anything I could do. This is just like the other one, isn't it? Yeah, this is uh, pretty much the same fight. So I just, I die from the ult. There's no way I'm surviving that. So with this one, we need to um, uh, get lucky enough to rush Hauser's ult here. These ones are a bit stupid, man. They are a little bit stupid. Did I not set sub characters? Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, um, <laughs> let's hope we can draw an additional Hauser card. Or Deanne needs to, like, not uh, go into, like, two golds and a silver. So it needs to be one of one of those two scenarios that happens. And Deanne, uh, oh, okay, so you actually don't have the option here to, uh, yeah, there's there's no, like, additional card. So you just get one of each. Oh, my goodness. What does the other Dreyfus have? Does he have anything that's, like, enough? I don't think so. Um, okay. <laughs> maybe if we use, like, Gil Thunder. Maybe we can still do a Gil Thunder. Maybe if we, like, draw an additional uh, Taunt and then rush his ult, then Deanne claps everybody. So she's going to go to full ult this turn. Yeah, I think we can actually uh, win this fight with Gil Thunder. If we get the damage reduction off. I think that's the play I want to go for, just to make sure we can do it. So we're going to merge there. We're going to use this. This gives us 45% reduction, so we can definitely survive the ult. But we didn't take like anywhere near as much damage as the previous time. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Dreyfus is ruined. Green Deanna is scary, man. Terrifying. Okay. I, I think Hauser's probably dead next turn, bro. Um. God, is Hauser... What are the chances that Hauser survives? They're not high. Do we go for it anyway? Oh, I, th I think we go for it anyway. Oh, that, that also works. That definitely works. Okay, cool. <laughs> well... It got the job done, man. It got the job done. Red Gil Thunder for the win. So that that one maybe I don't know. It's got elements that kind of make it better and worse in comparison to the previous Deanne one, but that one's definitely a bit of a bit of a pain. Uh, okay, we got Gil Thunder, Jericho, Helbrum, and Dreyfus for this one. Let's go for it. Chef Dreyfus, he he quickly left the building after that Deanne ult, bro. He was nowhere to be found found a, a chef sat man just knocking about in the dust okay um so who are we find here a bit of a look so it's two red and one green so yeah i think we probably keep that guilt thunder on uh let's go for the hauser synergy jericho let's try gonna gila synergy helbrum gustav and Got this. Actually, this this one's a little bit. The green one's a little bit better because he's a uh, six star. Mm. It's green more, a bit more defense. I think so. I got a lot of CC for this one, so yeah, we'll see how this one works out. It depends uh, what some of these uh, these characters do. How long is this mode here? This mode's here forever, so you've got the longest time to do it. But it's literally. You know, from what I've experienced today, uh, it's literally like at the bottom of everybody's progression <laughs> list. So yeah, just d don't sweat about it too much if you're uh, getting frustrated by some of the stages. Hmm. Okay, so Deanne can steal alt stuff. Um, oh, so can Gila. Does Hauser steal alt stuff as well? So yeah, Alt Russian ain't gonna work too well here, but I think we just go for the Deanne like um, single target play. But our Alt stuffs, yeah, just gonna get pinched away very, very quickly. So yeah, you don't actually want to use Alt Rush food on this stage once you get to it. 
something a little bit different. Everybody's still an old man. It's not going to be a good time. Oh man, how? Oh yeah, they all they all still all and hit like friggin' trucks on their AOEs. Can we petrify Hauser? We can petrify him, right? <laughs> That's so cheeky, dude. Imagine if Hauser had that ability. That'd be mad. Okay, so I, th I think we just want to drain there, and then let's uh, nuke in over here and fire off Gil Thunder's um, lightning beast. So draining all on a stage like this is just going to completely eradicate their turn. Okay. Oh, dude, those Helbrum dra drains are clutch here. They're very nice. Um. Oh, we can't drain the Gila though. That's that's slightly bad news. Slightly bad news. But I think we go for. Let's move this, and then we can petrify Hauser, right? He's got a follow-up card, so I think we just fire that and then petrify. Uh, Gilazol is going to hurt a bit, but I think everybody survives. I like this stage, though, man. There's, uh, like, Hel Helbrum's just key for this stage, really. If you're draining those ults, you are literally laughing. So let's go for that, and then... What's the play here? I think I'm going to fire this off and go for this just to maximize damage here. And also card draw as well. I'm hoping that this is enough to get Hauser down. Oh, not quite. It's not Millie Mars off though. He's going down next turn. And then once Hauser's down, I think we can start nuking into Gila. So yeah, we literally just need to get him down next turn. Uh, we should be able to do that. He hasn't got any crazy life steal, right? Or regen? Cool, cool. So yeah, if we just fire off the... Um, What's it? Go for this. I really want to keep uh, Sherico alive for the full bonus. Oh, pardon me. Um, just want to make sure I have a drain follow up. So yeah, does that comfortably kill Hauser? Mm, should do. So let's fire off this and then go for a drain which should land on Gila. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for the tour. Maybe the shock wasn't needed. But I think I think Jericho still survives, and then we've probably got taunts and drains till the end of the end of the game. So as long as she can survive this turn, we good. Yeah, perfect. Oh, we got Gil Thunder's ult here, man. I think it's GG, boys. I think it's GG. Oh, not quite. I think that was the safest play anyway. Just gonna use like uh, shot bombs next turn, and then we go for just go for some Helbrum cards, man. Should be good. That was a good stage. That I liked a lot of the design in that stage, man. That one was fun. But uh, yeah, that was a nice challenge, man. There are some stages I've just really not liked, but that one that one was pleasant. That one was pleasant. And we got three stars on it, so I'll, t I'll take that. Okay, we have... Uh, oh, yeah, four more to go in here. So let's go for... This Gotha fight? But I think toward the end of this, man, we've done uh, we've done much better at securing three stars on most stages. So we, we we're gonna get like a good chunk of rewards after we finish this. What's this? Uh, Gil Thunder, Helbrum, and Dreyfus. Let's go for it, man. Let's go for it. I think we've got Hendrickson stages coming up very soon as well. But what are we dealing with here? So we got Gotha, Hauser, Diane. Okay. So let's do a bit of inspection here. Decreases damage taken, removes debuffs. Okay, nothing else too bad. Apart from locks down our alt gauge. Um, 
I think she's the only one that does that, though. Oh, yeah, Ghost is going to randomly, like, remove skills from us. So that sucks. And Hauser, what's he going to do? Uh, just be Hauser, I think. I don't think there's anything too annoying about Hauser here. So, yeah, I think we go for Deanne so we can start getting old Gage up. Um, so let's fire this off and go for this. And I think just single target on Dreyfus here. Gotha is the red Gotha, though, so he's going to rank up everybody's skills. But I don't think there's too much to worry about if we can get that Deanne down. I don't like using Helbrim's cards just for the sake of it, but he's kind of my primary source of damage here to get Deanne down. So yeah, I actually think we just use the, the two Helbrim cards here and then go for... Uh, which one's going to hit a bit harder? That should hit a little bit harder, I think. Come on, Dreyfus. Oh, yes, boy. Fantastic. That's what we love to see. Right, so let's use that. Let's throw up the taunt as well. Okay, so these are both blue. We got disadvantage. We can start draining Alt Gauge now, which is nice. As long as that card doesn't get deleted. It's going to get deleted. Okay, nothing too bad there. Alright. I, th I think we go for this play here. So let's taunt up and go for the drain. And then go for... He's going to delete one card... I really hope it's not my ultimate. <laughs> that would suck, bro. I was so salty when he deleted my ultimate on Hugo back in the previous chapter. Okay, that's good. We get our ultimate next turn. And then let's fire that off on probably Hauser. We go for this and then train on Gotha. Should be good. Hopefully that, yeah, fantastic. That stage was pretty cool as well. Halbrum. Halbrum has so much use in these reverse stages, man. Especially in the final chapter. Didn't he do some stuff in uh, around the fight festival as well? Yeah, he's he's been a bit of an MVP for certain stages. If you uh, you know didn't already have uh, some reasons to take up Halbrum, good for reverse stages as well. Yeah, I think with the reverse stages, they should have also added in um, to, like, everyone. Uh, I don't know, some sort of exchange currency where you can buy loads of, like, R and SR pendants. So, you know, take up some characters and then, you know, maybe you can do a few stages. You clear those stages, get the currency, then you can exchange it for the pendants you need to rank up even more characters. I think that would have been a good way to uh, do the rewards on top of uh, some of the stuff, because I think for the um, the level of effort for reverse stages, man, the rewards are uh, a little bit lackluster, because there's nothing that really guarantees value, I think. Because uh, what do you have, like three part two SSR tickets and loads of gems, and the, you know, gems you can easily get shafted on any banner, um, and also, uh, what is it, the tickets you can easily get shafted as well, so nice uh, if I had a, a bit more guaranteed value I feel like it does need a layer of pendants and materials on top of it but what if you don't even have red Halbrum? don't don't worry about it man just chill out relax ignore the reverse stages or ignore the ones of Halbrum in because yeah if I didn't have red Halbrum, bro I think these stages that do need Halbrum would not be a nice time Okay, immune to, so King's immune to freeze. Is, is this going to be another stage that gives me Gustav, but everybody's immune to freeze? Immune to petrify. I would have hated to do this on JP, man, because it's really nice to be able to, like, read <laughs> everything. Okay, so Hauser, you can't freeze Hauser. We can freeze Gila and we can petrify King, though. Okay, that's nice to know. I think I'm actually just going to rush, um... 
Rush Gustav Salt? Was there any drain? I don't think there was any drain. We can definitely freeze Gila right. She's immune to petrify, but she's not immune to freeze. Okay, so let's go for. Do you want to like line up a double alt play? Actually, can we? We can. We can get the best of both worlds here, right? Use an alt and then get another alt. So I, I think that's the play to go for, man. Got no crits there. If we got crits, man, they'd be dropping like crazy. Okay, next turn we can get Gila down. There's a pretty good like wombo combo. And we can also petrify King next turn as well on the follow up. Right, let's friggin' wombo combo this Gila right here. Can't do anything to CC the Hauser, but we can drain him next turn. So that should be enough to get Gila down with 80% increased damage. Right, very nice. And then, what does, what does King have? He's some sort of regen. Oh no, re recovery disable when he's uh, petrified, that's fantastic. Hmm. Can we finish off King if we get him down? Maybe. We can't freeze either one, so yeah, it's whether... Okay, how's this going to do nothing, so we might as well aim that second one at King, I reckon. Maybe got a chance to get him down. Oh, please. Oh, just about, man. Just about. That's perfect. Come on, no deaths. Let's go. Three star first time. Please, please, please. Should be good. I think we've got it in enough turns. But yeah, that was a cool stage. I like that one, man. That was fun. That was really fun. Um, yeah, Gustav Halbrum. I think um, I've got both of those characters on my free. To I think I can do that for stage probably on my free to play account. Because Gustav and Halbrum, the two characters most uh, established players, I think probably have up by now. If you've managed to get lucky on the uh, SSR tickets or on a sub banner. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, we got a Hendrickson stage. Right, lads. Give me uh give me one second. I need to, to very quickly refill my water and then we'll tackle the uh the Hendrickson stages. So yeah, be right back.
All right, my apologies for that very short intermission there. Let's uh, crack on, lads. We've got, I think, like four or five left to go. Uh, but it's been going very, very well today so far. Let's chuck in Gila, Merlin here, Hendrickson. Um, I think we'll go for Eskinor, man, just for the stats. And uh, who are we going to be fighting here? So is this um, toward the end? It's got, oh, we got Merlin, Arthur, Meliodas. Let's go for it, mate. Let's go for it. Hmm. I'm curious to see <laughs> like what the challenge is going to be here. Some of the last few stages have had very unique challenges, but what does Meliodas have? I think I think Red Merlin's going to be really annoying because she's just going to be freezing us all the time. So I don't think there's anything super crazy she has. Hmm. Oh no, she's not red Merlin, it's uh, green Merlin. Well, she's red, but she's got the green's ability, so we don't need to worry about freeze there. But cube is a bit annoying. This is uh, green counter melee. Um, if we hit him, he's going to fill his alt move gauge a bit. And then finally we got Arthur. Mm, I don't think there's anything too crazy with any one of these, so we should be fine. Uh, but let's go for, I think, Merlin first. Gut's telling me go for Merlin, so yeah, I think we'll go for that. I went for the Cleaver Meliodas. Maybe I should have gone for the Ignite with uh, Vivian, but we can actually disable alt skills as well with Vivian. So we've got a way to uh, play around that. And there's nothing, no disable ability, apart from killing Vivian, that will prevent that. Hmm. Is this this one? Uh, this one's uh, ignite, right? Okay, I think we go for that. This plays really good, just to maximize draw. Right. Next turn, I think we can probably get Merlin down with the Hendrickson cards. We've also got like one more Ignite, so <laughs> I think we can do it. And also rush Hendrickson, so actually, do we want to... Um... Yeah, let's not worry about the Ignite. The two Hendrickson cards should do it, and then we're going to disable uh, alt moves. And that should apply to uh, Arthur and stop him from one-shotting anybody with the alt. Oh my god, everybody's laughing at me. See, and why did you max out Blue Hendrickson, you mug? Value, boys. These two reverse stages, or maybe even three. That we're just going to absolutely roll with my super sick maxed out Blue Hendrickson. Ooh. Okay, I just want to... Do you want to remove the counter? Let's remove the counter there. Fire off an Ignite. Actually, wait, wait, I don't even need to play that dangerous. I think if we go for this and then merge this and taunt up. Oh, sword, that's plenty of damage. Sea Boys 6-6 six, six, Blue Hendrickson. We're best best character in game. Um oh, dude, Gil Thunder's always gonna be a clean one shot here. It's magical, boys, magical. We got rupture. That's like yeah, crazy amounts. <laughs> it worked out nicely. That that was a great stage, man. That was a really really great stage. Gil Thunder, damn OP, man. I'll take that. Certainly take that. Just need a six six blue Hendrickson, man. These reverse state they couldn't be couldn't be easier. <laughs> I think even without six six blue Hendrickson, uh, still do that one. That one didn't seem like it. You know. Presented like really big problems. Just got to play around like Meliodas' counter. And then you got like Arthur Green Merlin. So really not too much to worry about. But this one, we have Hendrickson and Dreyfus duo here. My Dreyfus, he ain't, he ain't beefed up. But my Hendrickson man, he's got a carry on this one. Let's go for the Gil Thunder sub there. The Eskinor sub. I don't think I can use Alt Rush food and have enough CC to go first. So yeah. That's really annoying. Actually, whoa, 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 wait. 
cheeky little play here. Let's limit break. Oh, I haven't even unlocked his passive. What a mug. I might need to do that in a second, actually. We'll see. I'll try it without unlocking his passive, because I think this is the only stage... Um... Well, Blue Hendrickson's going to carry here anyway, so <laughs> we should be fine. It's the first time I've had to like upgrade a character, though, uh, on streams. That's uh, that's nice. But 65, that, that'll do, I think. Let's enter. So who we find here, I think... Is this one a bit of a tricky one? Oh, it's the whole gang, man. The whole gang. Well, if there were only three people in the gang and five members were missing, it, it would be the whole gang. Um, Rush Hendrickson's alt win game. Easiest clap of my life, boys. Let's go for it. Oh, look at those numbers. Beyond, beyond God tier. It's tier of his own, this man. Maybe I should have gone for Melee first. Mm, that Deanne's a bit of a problem as well. But I, I, I hope they keep on going for Hendrickson, man. That'd be perfect. Just because he can keep on uh, life stealing up. Is that 6 6 Hendrickson going to cleanly one shot? Let's find out. Hopefully we can get that freaking Liz down next this turn as well. Oh, not quite, man. I need to clearly need to super awaken my blue Hendrickson. Oh no, she had a cheat death. What? That's ridiculous. Is she delete out here deleting cards as well? Deleted my blue Hendrickson card. Bit of a dick move. Oh no. Bro, I kill I literally killed this Liz and she now she's back with a friggin' vengeance. That's madness, mate. Madness. Okay, right. I hope that Meliodas dies. He's gotta die, right? This is that should be loads of damage. If we crit, guaranteed. Guaranteed death. What do we have on this card as well? Able's buff and debuff skills. Oh, okay, that's that's gonna be pretty good for Liz. Nice. So I need to be careful about Deanne's ult. Oh no, Barn's coming down as well. Oh my god, you're actually having a chuckle, mate. Might have to 1v1 everybody with Hendrickson here. That's bad news, man. That's bad news. Okay, if Hendrickson gets this uh, friggin' Liz down this turn, we can win. Dreyfus is dead. Dreyfus is almost 100% dead here. It's gonna get thunderclapped by that Deanna ult. Is my Hendrickson gonna survive? Yeah, we're good. See, what you guys don't know is Hendrickson is actually the best lifesteal character in the game aside from Melascula. It's probably going to be the easiest win of my life right now. We got gold cards. Oh my god. C calm down, mate. Calm down. Okay, I'm definitely going to go for Deanne here because she's pretty much back at all again. We're going to get her down? Oh, mate. Maybe. Oh no, not quite. She's healed up a load as well. Okay, maybe next turn though. Maybe next turn. Cheeky night card. Straight into a gold. We're laughing, boys. We're laughing. Come on. We've got a 6-6 blue Hendrickson in a dream. Let's go. Oh, no. Have we been extorted too hard? Oh, no. Okay. We survived one ult. We can survive another ult. Nothing. Nothing to blue Hendrickson right there. He's going to shrug it off next turn. He, he just likes the flex. He's he's on the cusp of death, but this man ain't going down. He's going down for the casuals. This man's going up, all the way up. Oh, the, the, couldn't be easier, man. Could not be easier. He's got a fully max out, 6 star, 660 Blue Hendrickson. Most straightforward piece of content I've ever played in my life. <laughs> No, oh, honestly, man, this stage is stage is a bit a bit too much for Hendrickson and Dreyfus. I think this is probably 
the one I foresee most people having difficulty in. Because nobody wants to really upgrade Hendrickson and Dreyfus. <laughs> Unless they're making meme videos on YouTube. So, one more ignite. Sort that man out. Perfect. Hendrickson, true god mode there. He like, what is it? 1v3 them? Didn't even break a sweat, mate. Did not even break a sweat. Like, I didn't even panic there, mate. I knew I was in the hands of a life-stealing god, so... Very, very relaxed. But yeah, I think that's probably the, the hardest one that I've seen so far. Um, in all fairness. But that is also uh, the final one in the Onus Castle. But we also have some of the uh, the West District stuff, which takes place in the story after. So, uh, oh, apparently some Meliodas is uh, tough with Death Pierce, Dogetto, and Arden. Oh, yeah, and we also got to kill a goat. Uh, well, we'll try these stages, man. We got three more to go. Let's go for it. I, I don't think the struggle is over yet, lads. I, I think we still have a bit of it ahead. But this this one ain't looking too bad. We've got a nice, uh, nice line of characters here. Yeah, he he's a big carry on that stage. They literally made that stage so Blue Hendrickson would have one use in this game. Um, and yeah, he's pretty good for that stage. But uh, every you know the rest of the game, uh, maybe not, maybe not so much. Um, okay, I think we actually got pretty much the perfect uh, hand there. Just need to draw like one Hauser card next turn. Actually, I'm going to go for a slightly different play here. We're going to Torn and then use this on Gil Thunder. I probably should have used the, the Pierce card. Because what we need to worry about here is King rushing his ult. Because that's going to hurt. But I don't think he has enough um, ult gauge. He only got, I think, one merger there. Oh, no. Is he stealing ult gauge? Oh, he's stealing ult gauge. What a mug. Oh, my goodness. In a bit of trouble, lads. Okay, we should be able to survive this one. It's not like he's bombarding us with, like, uh, AoE like Deanne was. But then his ult's going to steal ult from everybody. So Hauser doesn't get back to his ult. But then we can get it next turn. You're like instantly back at all. No, you're laughing. That's so mad. No, how can he? Can he really just ult me and steal it all back? What a dildo, man. What a dildo. Um, it's not very. It's not very cool, man. It's not very cool. So he ults me. Oh no, he only steals two alt gauge here. So maybe. Oh, but then we merge. Okay, is he still... Okay. Oh. Damn it. So you you actually, for this fight, you actually really only want one character getting alt gauge, or else he's just going to spam. I, I, I'm actually going to start that again. I got, I got a better tactic. Better tactic. So you only want to use cards on one character, or else he's just going to keep cycling those alts, clapping you for days. We don't want to use apple pies here. Screw apple pies. We want to go for, um, what's good here? Do you know what's slightly annoying? Evasion food. Actually, health food. Mm, just health food for now. I just don't want to use uh, alt gauge food because he's just going to steal it all. Oh, that's really annoying though. Right, let's go for that. Actually, I'm going to swap those two uh, around. So let's chuck Eskinor over here. Gila here for the attack bonus, and then uh, that the green one's really a bit bit cheeks, so I think we'll go for uh, the red one. The green one literally he literally does nothing, man. He's so useless. Hmm. If this doesn't work out, actually, I just thought of an interesting plan with a green one. Okay, please go for Gil Thunder. 
or Grimoire. Grimoire works really, really well as well. Okay, so he doesn't have his ult, which is great news. Uh, so we can just move this, and then I think I'm going to use this. And we should be able to uh, derank his ult. If I can derank his ult and rush Gil Thunder's ult, we're in for a good time. I don't think I can rush Gil Thunder's ult, though. But him going for Grimoire is great. As long as he just sticks to going for Grimoire, stops leeching, uh, that's going to be fab. Right, so let's fire that off. I don't want to use anything on Grimoire. I also don't want to taunt on Gil Thunder here. Okay, so that... He's actually going to rank down his heal, get rid of his ult. So he just, what was it, double cleanses next turn into nothing? It's a good time. And then... Um, move this card on Gil Thunder. I don't want to use the taunt. He's going to move this around again because he's going to attack into Grimoire, but I don't want him to steal any ult or else he's just going to um, uh, back to back ult. So, yeah, the plays are weird, man. The plays are really weird on this one. Ah. Uh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think this is, this is what we wanted to do. So, if we move this around, oh, I need to use a, a card. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, actually, if he uses the, um... Uh, what is it? Steals a bit from Grimoire next turn, so I think I'm just going to go in for this. We're going to line up a play where we can Gil Thunder next turn and win, hopefully. He should just be smashing into Grimoire here. Okay, come on. We need Gil Thunder's ult to smash this king. Fantastic! So that king is uh, annoying. <laughs> He's very annoying. I think even like a, a green Gil Thunder could sort that out quite nicely. Yeah, I'm actually pretty confident I could do that fight on the free-to-play account. Just have to make sure that you're not allowing him to spam ult. Yeah, it's not, not too bad, that one. Uh, so let's go for Vivian. Sword, mate. I think the trick here is to kill him in one turn. All rush doesn't really work. It worked perfectly, Han. What are you on about? Saving like three hours of cards, though. Um, it doesn't sound like a bad tactic, dude. I'll, I'll give you that, but I think rushing Gil Thunder's ult, as long as he's nuking into Grimoire, it's a fine tactic, my friend. You whale, Seaton. Oh, thanks. I, I think. <laughs> Channel is called the Whale Center Spending, bro, so, you know, we uh, we do we do well on this game. Oh, what's this, a Vivian stage? Am I going to be able to do this one? Only Vivian. So She's going solo for this. Um, actually, I'm just going to use the two single ignites here, because, yeah, rushing ult just, it doesn't get us to the ult, so I think if we just use this anyway, I think it's better. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Deleting my cards. How do you do this? What? I'm very confused. Um, okay. That was a bit rough. <laughs> I'll try again, I'll try again. I think I maybe maybe need lifestyle food here. Actually, uh, I'm not too sure if he just got like lucky with the Meliodas cards because I think we did take a, a golden one, uh, so that wasn't ideal. Literally, we only have Vivian that we can use here. Do 
Delete some more of those alt disable cards, please. Do you just need to get really lucky here with like mergers and top decks? I think you do. And I think like like maybe mergers and top decks and lifestyle food is the way to go with this one. Um Because, yeah, if we were, we were life-stealing here, we'd be healing up quite nicely. It's still not over this this time. I don't know. Is he just going to delete my ult, though? Oh. I'll delete my face. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> there is that. Um, let's, uh... Let's back out. I'm going to change it to lifesteal food. Because I feel like if we had lifesteal food there, we might have been able to do it. By Vivian, she's only, uh... I think 65 four star awakened so let's go oh actually if i have life still food i don't think i have enough cc so we need to upgrade her a little bit we've got this far lads you know put a few more levels into vivian i don't have the awakening materials at the moment to get her up star wise but i think we can take her to 75 and that should be uh enough hopefully You know, we're going to max out every character eventually, so... <laughs> Let's go for Vivian, man! I don't think I can full it fully 80. Uh, I don't think we have enough uh, Crimson Demon materials, but... There we go. We should be able to get at 75. 75 four-star. Hopefully it's enough for lifestyle food. Let's get that melee down, mate. That melee goes down. We are we're laughing, boys. We're chuckling. We're having a great time. But this one, yeah, we'll we'll see what's up. So where's Big Daddy Eskinor? Actually, no, we want to use uh, Merlin here. Yeah, because you want the crit stuff. Let's go for that one. Slightly higher stats. We've just about gone off CC. So where is Life Steal Food? It's at the top here. Let's go for Auto Eat. Let's see what we can do, mate. Okay. Wait, if I if I double merge these, it doesn't give me ult, right? Yeah, I might as well just use these. Just wanted to double check. I feel like I made that play like a couple of <laughs> tries ago. Okay, nice. That's pretty good. So when uh, my cards get deleted now, I'm just going to draw ult next turn and uh, we can smash that Meliodas. If we don't get... If we don't use the uh, friggin' Knight as well, that's going to be great. Do we, do we go for the Ignite before or am I going to get smashed? I don't feel confident. So use the little one. I might, I might just get wrecked here, but I don't think the ult's enough. But I think the ignite and ult is enough. Come on! Yes, let's go. Life steal food for the win. Oh, Vivian, you clutch god. Sign me up. Beyond God tier promotion, man. Best character in game. I told you guys that was the right play, man. 100%. I think it would have fallen like a little bit short if we didn't go for that. Yeah, because he had about 100k left. It's a risky play, man. Sometimes you got to go for the big plays, man. Got to go for the big plays to get those massive Ws. Okay, so let's go for the ultimate move here. Disable ultimate move for three turns. And a uh, bit of four elements destruction, I think. You know, I don't want to say that I'm like number one Vivian player worldwide. 
Top five though. Top five, man. Hundred percent. Top five. Oh, what's that? You can can't saw the stance of the special too. What? Well, I'm I'm an idiot. I'm a complete idiot. Bottom three Vivian players worldwide. Yeah, I'm actually a mug. I'm a massive mug. Well, um, yeah. I suck at this game. Oh, man. I thought I was good for a minute there. You know what, guys? Reading the cards in this game is always really useful. Uh, just in case, like, you're some sort of, like, cocky, um, person that's on a live stream, uh, and you think you're the best player, and then you don't read the cards, and you realize you're a mug. So yeah, just read the cards, man. That's what we've we've learned, guys. That's what we've learned today. <laughs> but yeah, it was still it was still a good play, man. It was still a good play, you know. It's exciting. It added a level of excitement to the stream, and that's uh, that's my job, man, as a YouTuber. I need to make these streams exciting, give you guys a bit of suspense, of course. <laughs> it was a 20 IQ simp move, man. 100. percent But hey, we got three stars on that stage, so I'll take that. Now we got Death Pierce, Doghetto, and Arden. I've heard this one is a bit of a nightmare. Let's see. Uh, so this is like training cave, so gear doesn't matter. I saw somebody asking in chat. The whale sin of mugs. That's it, mate. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Read the cards, mate. Read the cards. Oh, no. I don't know if any of these characters really are uh, taken up decently enough. I thought my, um, what was it, Death Pierce and Doghetto were a bit. Doghetto's like six star, so he's not doing too bad. I think we'd take Arden up to uh, 65, maybe 70. Let's go. I didn't know there was, uh, we'd have to use these three today. Yeah, we can take Arden up a bit more, actually. So I'm just going to go to the tavern and quickly uh, exchange the materials. I don't think I've got enough uh, blue books here, so I'm just going to quickly convert red books into blue books. There we go, that'll do. Give me enough to take Arden up a little bit. It's the last stage, man. The last stage. We've come so far today. We need to do it. We're, get, we're getting it done, man. No questions. No questions. We're just getting it done. Okay, Arden, where are you, son? Where are you? Where's this man knocking about? I don't know if we need his um, awakened ability or unique ability, should I say. But we'll, we'll see, man. We'll get to the stage without it. If we do need it, and we can... Uh, Get it, but I might need to use CC food here in order to... Because the, the requirement was, like, really heavy, man. It was really high. <laughs> right, sweet. Come on, let's get 150% bonus here. Please, please, please. And not quite. So close though. Okay, so Death Pierce and Doghetto. Uh, I'm gonna take Doghetto up to 70 as well, man. Why not? Where's Doghetto knocking about? Uh, there he is. Oh no, I don't have enough Grey Demon's Wing. Okay, we'll we'll make do. We'll make do. We'll make do. We'll be fine. So what's gonna happen, man? Are we gonna die? No, never. Oh, we got 60 stars, though. That's sweet. Um, but yeah, let's go to West District here. <laughs> Follow, we might get might get a bit ruined on this one. Oh, God, even with CC food, will I have enough here? I don't know. Yeah, a bit more with Escanor, a bit more with Deanne. Let's go from lifesteal food to CC food. Come on. Oh, just about, mate. Just about. Who have we got to fight here? We've got to fight Meliodas. Okay. What does he have? 
removes debuffs, heals 50% every time a debuff is removed, number of skill uses. Okay, he's immune to stun and attack disable. This guy sounds like a bit of a nuisance. What do we have on the alt set? Decreases health related stats. Maybe we want to rush Arden's alt. Imagine he's probably going to start nuking Arden. What does the ghetto's alt have again? Cancels buffs and stances. So we can counter his... Um, or maybe we actually want to use uh, Nitro Rush on Do Ghetto to prevent him from filling up. And Death Pierce, what do we have again? You can reduce attack related stats. <laughs> well, let's, let's see what we can do here, man. Let's see what we can do. We are, we're pushing this one a little bit, but this is the final stage. We've made it so far. We can do it. All of the way. Just one, it's one little Meliodas, mate. There's three of us. Two massive boys and Arden. Got this. Easy game, easy life. Um I think I think this one went upgraded cancel stances, right? I think. Let's go for a uh, nitro rush. And let's get a poison off. And do we go for the shadow card or let's actually just go for this. Oh, okay, so we actually can't um, disable his gain at all. That's unfortunate, mate. That's very unfortunate. Do I need to get, like, three alts here? This one cancel stances. I think I might use that. I'm just going to get wrecked on the counter. Okay, let's fire off the uh, Death Pierce cards here. I think I need a play where I use like double ult to get him down. Or I just need to like not use anything that inflicts debuffs. Oh, is Arden going to get ruined? Yes, maybe. As long as he can take the ult as well, that'd be great. Oh no, he's not going to go for that. Hmm. I'm thinking like we eat the counter here. Do get him maybe survives? Alt Sarden. That goes on Death Pierce. Double alt next turn win. So if we don't take too much damage here, man. Oh, no, I didn't like that. I didn't feel comfortable with that. Okay. So, if he ults Arden, then uses that single target smash on Death Pierce, we're good. Oh, my God. 5,000 IQ, man. People ask me, guys, how do I get 5,000 IQ? Read the cards. <laughs> Read the cards. Oh, what, what are you saying, Fs in chat, boys? You, you, you better take that back. I want to see those Fs turned into Ws. There, that was the play of the the play of the season, boys. Play of that one. It's the big Ws, man. Big Ws. But there we go. We did it. We did it. <laughs> uh, that's the final stage dealt with. We cleared every single reverse stage today. We got 62 out of the 75 stars total. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that's uh, that's it for the, uh, you know, the first um, look at reverse stages today. So I'm proper chuffed for that one. But, lads, I'm not going to leave you high and dry. We have a naughty video, a proper cheeky video coming out right now. So I got, I got a little bit carried away, man, and I might have put full UR gear on King. I might have, I might have gone really, 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 really deep into King's gear. And just to give you a, a bit of a, a bit of a teaser, um, this, this is what King's gear is, uh, is looking like uh, now. But if you want all the details 
and to see some sweet PvP. A brand new uh, King PvP video is now it's now live on the channel. I've just said it live this very instant. So head over uh, there, uh, smash the like button if you did enjoy today's live stream. All that's Marvel Contest of Champions announcement there. Uh, but yeah, new Red King. You are video now live bum, 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 in live stream chat. But aside from that, hopefully you all did enjoy today's uh, reverse stages live stream. It was uh, it was a good time, man. Really, really good time. Again, it's definitely something that everybody wants at the the bottom of their priority list. There's certainly no um, uh, need to rush it because the rewards, you know, they really aren't that great. But if you're a big old blubbery well and you've got every character in this game, it's, it's a pretty fun time, man. I definitely did enjoy today's stream. So yeah, aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button. Uh, take care. I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. And uh, new video 